Hey friends, I want to share with you out of 1 John chapter 2 today, 1 John chapter 2, and uh, the Apostle John writing, and, and part of what he's explaining is that uh, if anyone has genuine faith, if they're really followers of Jesus, uh, then they will obey him. doesn't mean we obey perfectly, but there will be obedience in their lives, and it's not that that obedience uh, is what saves us, but it is evidence that we are really saved, and so thus we obey. Let me read it to you out of uh, 1 John chapter 2. He says this, starting in verse 1, My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation of our sins, and not only ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him. Right. So by this, what's he about to say? By this we know that we have come to know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. So what John's saying there is the, the way that you know that you're a follower of Jesus isn't, isn't because you said a prayer at one point or you were baptized at one point. Yes, that may have been the start of your journey, but the way that you know that you have salvation is, are you obeying his commandments now? It doesn't mean you do it perfectly, but part of his commandments is to repent of sin when we, when we do sin. So are you obeying him in the sense of following him, obeying what he's told us, and even repenting of sin when you fall? If you do, then by his spirit, you are a follower of Jesus. So keep it up. But again, it doesn't necessarily matter how we start. What matters is how we finish. And so uh, keep repenting, keep following, keep trusting. Have a good day.